Hello, calculus fans. We're going to construct a rectangular box that has no top. And we have a fixed surface area. So the way you can think about that is there's a certain amount of material that you're allowed to use to make this box. Again, keep in mind there's an open top. Our goal is to find the dimensions that will make the volume as large as possible. Do we make it very wide and shallow, or do we make it tall and narrow, or something in between? What we're trying to do is find the absolute maximum of some function, v of xyz equals xyz. That's the volume, but there's a constraint. The constraint is that the surface area of the box is equal to r. So here we're using x and y for length and width, and z is going to be the height. Why is there not a 2xy? Well, there's no top to the box. So the two, it would be 2xy if it was a closed box. Then the lid and the base of the box would uh, count as another xy. So we have 2xz plus 2yz plus xy is equal to some number r. All right, we're not going to solve this problem yet. We just want to discuss the method that we're going to use to solve this. So this last equation expresses a condition that the surface area is r. So what we'll be presenting is something called Lagrange's method for maximizing or minimizing a general function f of x, y, z subject to some constraint of the form g of x, y, z equals k. Now it's easier to explain the geometric basis using two variables, but when we state the general method, it's going to be with a function of three variables. You can use it with either one. So let's say we're trying to find the extreme values of f of x, y subject to some constraint. This constraint is of the form g of x, y is equal to k. Let's look at a picture of f and g. What we're really looking at here is level curves of f, and then g of x, y equals to some fixed number k. That's some curve. We're looking for the largest possible value of f of x that lies on the curve g of x, y equals k. We've marked that with a little blue point. So this picture is showing us some level curves of f. If we want to maximize f of x, y subject to some constraint, we want to find the largest value of c such that the level curve f of x, y equals c intersects g of x, y equals k. So the picture makes it look like this happens when they have a common tangent line. Because if they don't have a common tangent line, then the value of c for that level curve could be increased even more. So that means their normal lines are identical. We haven't talked about normal lines. A normal line is like a tangent line, except it goes perpendicular to the curve. The direction of a normal line is just the gradient. So the gradients of these two functions must be parallel. So that is to say that del f is equal to lambda times del g. So lambda is just some scalar. So del f is parallel to del g. So this gives us a general method for finding absolute extrema subject to some constraint. This is called the method of Lagrange multipliers. Now we're stating this again for functions of three variables, but you can use this for function of two variables also. So if you want to find the maximum and minimum values of f subject to some constraint, g of x, y, z equals k, and we'll assume that these extreme values exist, and we're also going to assume that the gradient of g is not equal to zero. So g is a smooth surface. There's a couple of steps we go through. First, we find all values of x, y, z, and lambda such that del f is equal to lambda del g, and that satisfy the constraint g of x, y, z equals k. We evaluate f at all of the points that we get from step one, and whatever's the biggest is the maximum, and whatever's the smallest is the minimum. Some problems don't have maximums or minimums, and sometimes we'll be able to argue this geometrically based on what we know about the problem situation. 
Okay, that's all for now.